everyone. So today we have another, whew, it's a good video today. But this video today is going to be on a actual eBay purchase that I made. Let's see what we have. So this is our eBay package. Let's see what's in the box. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what's in the box because you're looking at the title. One thing for sure I can tell you is this box is light, but when I kind of shake it that way, it kind of feels like it's a little weight to it. And the reason why I say that because it's I have another camera here and it's got some weight to it. But whatever's in this box, it's it's light. It's like it's lighter. That's the proper term I want to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, use our Husky carpenter knife. Open up a box. It looks like recycled paper. It looks like some type of paper that you will uh, get from like an arts and craft. And we got some bubble wrap. Uh, we got something here. So what I'm going to do is see if I can cut this thing open without damaging our equipment inside. I'll tell you one thing, the seller in the post office, they uh, did a excellent job to get this thing shipped in the most safe, convenient way possible. I got the first two layers of bubble wrap off and now there's a couple more layers to go. I just got the bag open, it's nice and dry, so nothing. Nothing to be too concerned out there. It comes with the strap. Let's see if we can get it out with one hand. We got our Canon T3i. This is a used Canon. We got a little bit of dust inside there. It's got a place for you to attach a external mic. HDMI, audio visual, digital out. And this is the left side. So this is the back of our Canon T3i. It does have a tilt display. Tilt display is absolutely perfect. Say for instance, I was recording and I was on the other end. I wanna see what I'm recording so that way I can know that I'm in sync with the camera. Whenever you have a camera that just has a display on the back. If you're trying to do recording videos of yourself, um, you're gonna have a hard time. Uh, I'm not gonna say hard time, but it's gonna be a, a, a bit tedious to do a video, shoot the video, finish the video, then look at the video, it's like, oh, the camera wasn't in focus with me. Oh, I was halfway off the video. You know, stuff of that nature, because then now you gotta go back and re-record the video. So that's why, you know, having a camera that can flip to the side is beneficial, especially for people that want to be in front of the camera recording. Now, if it's a case that you are recording someone else, yeah, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So that's the primary reason why I bought this camera. Uh, not to mention that this camera uh, is 18 megapixels. My previous camera is 14. That extra, you know, four horses doesn't make a difference. We have this wonderful display here. Uh, got a couple of more additional gadgets, uh, settings, a lot of things on this camera that um, that I've never used before because I'm not a camera guy. I'm, I'm just an IT guy. And we got more settings here. This is supposed to be on and off. There's a lot to this camera that I need to learn about and that's the reason why I bought a camera this age because it, it does have some you know, modern settings, you know, that you'll find nowadays. Let's see, we'll pull, we'll pull down, and insert the card there. Let's push the jet, right, so that's cool. So with this camera, it was supposed to be, uh, the seller had stated that this does not close, but it's closed. So I'm not too sure what's going on here. 
got to figure that out. Let's see, I'm trying to pop it open. It won't pop open, so I guess they figured out a way to close it. But I did buy another piece. So, but anyway, guys, that's just a, a physical demo of this Canon T3i. From what I learned is when it comes to these Canon Rebels, you're able to add a external mic. You got the side display and there's some other features um, that are very beneficial. I absolutely love this arm strap or you can say neck strap, wherever you want to strap this thing, but I absolutely love it, man. This thing is, whew, it's nice. It's absolutely nice. So whoever had this, they took real, real good care of this. The camera shows light use. So whoever had this, they must have been a photographer. I'll just state that. They must have been a photographer that really, really cared for their camera equipment. See if we can do a nice, decent cut here. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here. It looks like we got a lens. Uh, one thing I definitely see here is that we got some, you know, a nice, good amount of paper and plastic. Uh, to protect the lens, so it's a job well done uh, with the seller and with shipping. It's a husky. Okay, let's see. Ah, interesting. So surprisingly, uh, this lens protector is on here. That is awesome because when I seen the picture, it was without the Canon lens protector, and I absolutely forgot to order one. So I absolutely like that. Look at that screen. That's beautiful. It looks to be, you know, put. So the lens itself appears to be crack free. Um, well, of course, we'll have to connect it to see exactly how she looks. Seems to be in decent quality condition. Um, you know, just a little, just a little scratch there. This lens was purchased from uh, a seller on eBay. So, trust and believe you can definitely find quality camera equipment on eBay. Cause this is like the first time I've ever had a camera like this that comes with a, a actual lens that you have to attach. Uh, my previous camera, as you can see, it does not have a detachable lens. So there may be a lot of people out there saying, why did you buy a camera if you're not a camera professional? Just before I became an IT professional, I was not an IT professional. I didn't know how to work on computers. I did not know how to take computers apart, but that didn't stop me from learning. That didn't stop me from trying to do something different. That's basically what I'm trying to do here is do something different. Have some fun with it. Have some fun learning. Have some fun challenging myself to do something that I can't do. That's what I'm doing here. So it's going to be a lot of mistakes made, a lot of things that I just don't know, just don't get something that's going to be common sense. I get it. But guess what? I'm going to learn it. And guess what? When I learn on my time, I'm going to be good at it, according to myself. Now to you guys, you guys got all the years of experience, you know, I dig it, I dig it. But this video, this is for people like me. People like me that are like, look, I just wanna point and shoot and I wanna learn. That's what I'm doing. If I'm not mistaken, this white dot here is supposed to line up to that. Insert here, click the lock there. So, try to get you guys in here. We have to turn from the base And there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I like that. So now she looks like an actual camera. These are uh, third party aftermarket batteries. I just want to see exactly if this camera actually works. That's one thing I don't know. Grow USB cable and some batteries here with battery charger. Battery goes this way uh, yep there she goes put
push this thing down and let's try to close it and let's see does it actually close yep it closes so we're good I'm going to go ahead and put this card inside here just follow that direction from there push it down and there we go over. Um, I'm not seeing anything. That is wonderful. So we got ourselves a working, a working camera. All right, I'm out of camera, man. Yeah, my shot is ugly. I verified that the camera does work, so I'm happy about that. It looks like there's a lot for me to learn to in order to use this. I don't have it focused yet. Matter of fact, it's set for manual. I wanna... Okay. So I got the camera around my neck. I don't have anything cool to shoot, but let's just give this a shot and see what this does. Oh, autofocus does work. Check that out. Now your screen looks totally different from my screen. All right, so autofocus does work. Let's go ahead and shoot that shot. See what she'll do. Oh, that's a wonderful, that's a wonderful picture. Now your screen looks different from mine. It, it, it works. Uh, it's noisy, but it works. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the first video that I captured with my camera, which at that given time I was not aware that with using a kit lens such as the kit lens that commonly comes with your Canon T3i, it's not that well great taking videos or pictures uh, at night, such as this low light environment. Uh, another issue at hand is that when I was actually recording a video of this Ford Crown Vic, I was actually looking at the car with my eyesight instead of looking at the car through the camera. Which as you can see, when the vehicle gets closer, that's when I kind of readjust it. I looked at the camera for a minute and then as it got distant, my eyes was focused on the vehicle instead of still maintaining direct eye contact with the camera. Wow. Uh -huh. 
Funk.